Um, we actually have something in common, Liverpool. I am from the current UK city of culture, Hull. <laughs> you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. It's, uh, it's as controversial as when you guys won it. Because uh, in 2010, Hull was also voted something else. Hull was voted the UK's number one fucking crap town. <laughs> yeah, so 2010 was crap. 2015, they come back and they was like, Hey, Hull, you're not crap anymore. You're going to be the city of culture. And when it was announced, right, when it was announced for the city of culture, the people of Hull were fucking gutted. <laughs> oh, there was outbreak all over town. I passed bus stops on that morning it was announced, right, and people had their head down going, we can't even be consistently shit. <laughs> but it has got good things going for it. Hull is the only city in the country that sells Father's Day cards in packs of ten. And I did things as well, very working class, very young city of culture like. Um, some things I don't like speaking about, it gets me very angry. Um, I had to eat chips as a child seven nights a week. And I can't put into words how angry it makes me feel. Every time I do it, I feel the anger. I just don't do it any justice. As a 35 year old adult, I fucking hate chips. I cannot stand chips, right? My childhood was always the same. Monday night, chips with egg. Tuesday night, chips with sausage. Wednesday night, chips with pizza. On Thursday, it was chips for waffles. <laughs> That's just fucking chips and chips, mum. <laughs> I used to have to share bath water with the rest of my family. Give me a cheer if you've done that. Yay! Don't worry, I could smell it. I was just trying to out some liars. I'm glad you've all been honest. That was horrible as well, guys. Sunday night, my dad had run a bath. He got in first because it was his house, he paid the bills and that was the rule. Then my sister would get in, then my brother would get in, then my other brother would get in, then my grandma asked if she wants to come round and fucking get in. Right? And all because I was the ugliest out of all my family. Oh, because I was the ugliest, I had to get in fucking last every time. Right? And I ain't kidding you, after six people had been in that bath, Sometimes I'd walk in there, I'd just stare into it like this. <laughs> Do you know your mum does fucking stew? <laughs> Sometimes it had skin on the top. Sometimes I had to put my foot in and use it like a bastard gravy ladle. <laughs> That's not even the worst. I put my foot in one time, my fucking grandma was still in it. Ah! Get out! They say, oh, because I was ugly, and what it was is, right, I was cross-eyed. And you might be looking at me going, well, your eyes look all right. That's because I pay for contact lenses, right? Honestly, when I take the contact lenses out, one eye in Cottingham, one in Nottingham, right? <laughs> Spoiled everything when I was young, yeah, couldn't have girlfriends. They used to come up to me and be like, ah, You've been seeing other fucking girls on the side. <laughs> I had no friends. Actually, I tell her, I had one friend when I was younger, right? She was cross-eyed and depressed, and she never looked forward to fucking anything. <laughs> 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 